Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and with every video I make like these, things get more and more exciting because the further we get into the iOS 8 jailbreak, the more cool things, tweaks, applications come out, and I'm so excited to share the next top 10 tweaks from iOS 8 that are compatible after the Pangu jailbreak. Now, of course, these are compatible with the iPhone 6 Plus, 6, and lower iPhones. Some work on the iPads and the iPod Touch. Now, these tweaks are guaranteed to work on iOS 8.1. I have tested them all extensively on the latest 8.1 firmware on my iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. But anyways, I'm so excited to share the next top 10 tweaks with you guys. As you can see, I already have a couple on my lock screen. So number one is lock glyph. Now, as you guys can see, this is the animation taken straight from the passbook when you pay with your credit card and ported right to the lock screen. And when you use your finger, it gives you this nice little animation and a sound and you go into your device. I think it's a great addition to the lock screen. It looks really nice and you can play around with the settings. You can choose whether or not the sound plays. There are a couple settings for it inside. So you can choose to enable the unlock sound, the tick animation. You can choose for faster animations, even change the colors, the scanning color. I think it's great. So one more time. I mean, this is something I'm definitely gonna be using. It just looks so clean. Now it does take a little bit longer on the default speed, but of course you can speed it up with use faster animations and then it'll unlock just like it would normally. And there you go. So great little addition to iOS 8, lock glyph for iOS 8. And of course, this is only for Touch ID enabled devices. I'm sure you guys noticed this cool widget on my lock screen. It displays time in a very sleek manner and it gives you a little widget, a little weather widget right there. So it actually is very accurate. And of course, depending on your location, takes data straight from Yahoo. Now, the great thing about it is that you can move it around on your lock screen. So just simply hold it like you would any iPhone application and it'll begin to wiggle and then you can move it around to wherever you want. I think it's great. Now, it's not just limited to this widget. It's actually, uh, you can download different widgets, modify it how you like. You can play around with it a lot. Now, to install this, it's a little tricky, so it takes a while for me to explain. Just go and click on the description down below. There will be a link and it'll discuss how to install it and the whole process because it's not just a simple one-click install. Uh, you gotta install two separate packages and enable them a little bit differently. So just click on the description down below and it'll show you how to install this awesome widget on your lock screen. This next one is called Spin Version 3. 3.0 and it's my favorite out of all 10 of these that I will be showing you. So you just need to enable a song and uh, just enable that. Go to your lock screen and it changes the entire interface of the music player. So now you have this really cool circular icon and I think this would go great if you had that circular iWatch theme that I showed you the other day. It just matches it. It's circular and using this you can actually skip through music. So I think it's great. You have these little icons down here. It does replace your actual time as well. It gives you this nice and clean little music player. Of course, you can just you know skip through it and it does spin like that. Really cool. So guys, that's spin version 3.0 in the Cydia App Store. I really like this one and it's still a little bit buggy, but it does work great and it will be updated, I'm sure, in the future. But definitely get this one, I'd recommend it. For the next two tweaks, these are two separate tweaks. However, they are interconnected and they have to do with the control center. So the first one allows you to manipulate what you want to be displayed in your control center. Man, that's pretty short. However, you know, it only displays the music icons should you choose if you're playing music. So let me just play something. And as you can see, then your music icons come back. Now, should you stop playing music, it shrinks. So that's great. Now this one is very heavily optioned. You can choose what you want it to display, where you want it to display those things or where you don't want them to display. Now the next one is called C Switcher. So this works in conjunction with the one I just showed you and it actually brings your multitasking menu onto the control center. So in here you can slide through them just like that and it's been miniaturized so you can see everything right here. And I can see this not being everyone's thing. However, I do like it. I like how it simplifies it now. If you double tap your home button, it takes you directly to the control center. So it doesn't open up the multitasking menu anymore, which removes those favorite contacts up there, which is kind of a negative. But, you know, if you do like it, it is available. C switcher, it works in conjunction with the smaller control center that I just showed you. So you can actually manipulate what you want to be displayed on here, what you don't play around with it a lot. But these two tweaks in conjunction basically give you a lot of control over the control center. Next is side delete eight. 
Now this isn't a new one by any chance, however, many of you guys are probably familiar with it and it wasn't working with iOS 8 up until today. So Sidely 8 has been updated for iOS 8 and what it allows you to do is when you install a non-native application to the App Store, so basically any application from Cydia that you can see displayed on the home screen, you can actually hold it, whoops, you can hold it have it shake and then delete it straight from your home screen. And this actually uninstalls it fully from Cydia. So it's a very great way to save time instead of going into Cydia and having to manage and you know uninstall it from here. It's a really quick way to do it from here. Now you can't uninstall Cydia as you could back in the past because it's not a clean uninstall of Cydia. It just removes the icon, everything else remains. So this isn't a good way to uninstall Cydia. If you wanna do that, you'll need to restore your iPhone, but it's definitely a great little tweak to have. Such a simple little thing can really make the experience a lot better. You know, you save time by not having to uninstall things from Cydia. So Cydely 8 has been updated for iOS 8 definitely a must have. Next is Icon Renamer. It's very similar to Side Delete in the terms of usage. You just have to hold on an icon to shake it. And just like the name suggests, all it is is you changing the name of an icon. Just tap on it and you have the option to change the name. So if you have Reddit Blue or what is it, Alien Blue, you can change it to Reddit, uh, the name that it should have been. But you can change the name of anything. This one I would probably name, oh, whoops, useless, but. Anyways, so it's a really cool way to just change the application names from any application on your home screen. Very simple way, so you don't need any third-party application. It's just built in. When the icons are shaking, tap on it, and then you can change the name in here. So great little addition, definitely recommend Icon Renamer for iOS 8. Next is Eclipse 2, and before even getting into it, this is a fairly extensive tweak, and one I would certainly recommend if you use your phone in the night a lot. So what Eclipse 2 allows you to do is basically turn every aspect of your device into night mode. It's a complete night mode tweak for your device. So from settings, from any application that's just beaming white light at you, instead of actually being able to dim the screen more, it actually solves the problem by making everything darker. So just letting you know, not all of these tweaks I'm showing you will take effect right away. Some of them do require a respring, and in my other video I have a really cool solution for respringing, but you know this one doesn't have it in here where you can go ahead and respring. So. Let me just respring and I'll show you how this works. All right, so on the surface, on the home screen, you won't notice any difference, but open up settings and boom, it's all dark. It doesn't turn it negative. It actually accommodates for a darker image everywhere throughout the iOS. So not only in settings, I mean phone, everything has changed, everything's darker. The only thing I don't like about it is that it has a slight delay where it's white. If you're opening an application for the first time, I mean, it even enables a night mode keyboard. The thing I like about it is that in almost every application it's supported. I mean, inside of the app store even, inside of your music, your store, everything. I think it's great. So if you use your phone a lot in the dark and you don't want your eyes to be blasted by pure white light rendering you blind, then I'd recommend this. It's definitely useful. It's called Eclipse and it works on iOS 8 and iOS 7. Next is called Never Gonna Buy. And these last two tweaks I'm gonna show you are pretty much a way of simplifying and making your experience on iOS less frustrating. So in iTunes radio, when you play a song, as you guys are familiar with this, it'll give you little buy icons up here and in your control center as well. So what this does is pretty much simply just removes those icons. You will not have any more buy icons after you install this tweak. It's really simple. All you have to do is in Cydia, install the tweak, it'll respring your device, and then you'll never have those little icons asking you to buy again. That is unless you want them there and you wanna buy them right away, but it's just a simple little way of removing that toggle when listening to iTunes radio. Lastly, no annoyances. So this one, just like the name suggests, it removes any annoying messages from your device. For example, for me on my device, my iCloud drive is full. So when I plug it into charge, every single time it pops up a notification that says your iCloud drive is full, storage is full, it gets annoying because every time I charge my phone, it pops up. And not only that notification, as you guys can see, just a few examples, cellular data is not enabled, disable airplane mode to access data, all of these annoying pop-ups, notifications that you get throughout your device, you know, location accuracy improved by enabling Wi-Fi, low battery, cellular data, low disk space, and more. All of these are no longer enabled, so you'll never be able to see them again after installing this. 
That is, if you like to stay informed and you like constantly being reminded by these things, you know, don't install this, but it's free. I mean, why not? It removes those frustrating little pop-ups you get here and there. So you'll no longer get those annoying messages after installing No Annoyance. Well guys, those are the top 10 tweaks for iOS 8. And if you ask me, my favorite three are the Spin version 3.0, the Lock Glyph, which I think is great. It adds that little animation straight from Passbook when you pay for an item to your lock screen and you can modify it. Very simple way, but an elegant way to improve your lock screen. And I actually really like that widget. I showed you guys the HTML one. So those are my top three out of these 10 that I did show you, but I will be making more videos like these. I know you guys do like them. You know, you did jailbreak, what do you do now? Well, I like making these videos because it shows people and I learned from them myself, you know, what to do after jailbreaking on iOS 8. But anyways, that's even more top 10 tweaks for iOS 8. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy all of these tweaks. Peace.